Amanda. Taylor. And today we are filming day one of our intermediate series. Um, it's going to be in our packet that we have if you guys went ahead and signed up for that, followed us and emailed us with your email. Um, so if you need to follow along for that, you can. So day one is shoulders and back the little abs I believe and we are currently at our local gold's gym and in case we seem a little sneaky it's because we are because you're not supposed to film <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna try to get in and get it done for you guys um, just to see what our um, workouts are like during the week um, so there will be four of these, so this is the first, and then we'll amp it up for our advanced series and go to a local gym that she actually is a trainer at. Mm -hmm. So just for degrees of seriousness for you lifters, so yep, here we go. All right. All right, so for the warm up we have today, um, it's going to be band pull aparts here, and it's going to be super seated with jumping jacks, which you'll see in a second. And as well as you'll see Taylor doing um, internal and external rotations here with the cable. Um, you want to keep your elbow in, and you don't need to go super, super heavy on this warm up um, here. We're trying to really warm up your rotator cuff uh, so that we can protect it with um, all of the shoulder movements and back movements that we'll be doing today. She always likes to come up and remind everybody that you should be able to keep a towel in between your elbow and your waist mm -hmm. while doing them. Right? Isn't that what okay. you say? Yeah. <laughs> I threaten my clients. I'm like, I'm going to put a towel there. You better be able to hold it. Like, this is unrealistic. <laughs> Here we have wide grip lat pull downs. So since we're going down in reps, you guys wanna go up in weight each set if you can. Um, so to keep opening up your chest every single time you pull down and you should feel this in your lats, not in your traps. Um, if you feel it in your traps, lower the weight. And shout out to Versa Grips because they help me feel it in my back. And then we supersetted this with good mor barbell good mornings. And so the key here is to do a hip hinge, so sending your hips back. My knees are slightly bent, and then I just go till I feel it, and then get a little glute squeeze up at the top. This superset starts with wide grip seated cable rows. And the key here is to pull with your lats and kind of pause at the top of the movement and then release and just brace your core during the entire movement. And the second exercise to this superset is straight arm rope pull downs. Uh, so obviously the key is to keep your arms straight Really squeeze with your rear delts and um, pull it down to your waist at the same time. Keep your chest up so you're not collapsing forward. Alright, here we have a barbell clean to press. And you want to keep it a lighter weight, especially when the first couple times you do this. So you want to do almost like an upright row and then get your hands underneath it and press up. Um, I'm moving a little fast here, but don't be fooled. Like by the end of it, I was moving a little bit slower. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
here I'm doing seated dumbbell overhead press. And so what I'm trying to do is keep my low back press into the um, chair so that I'm not arching too much, keeping my feet on the ground and my core braced. The last superset starts with dumbbell lateral raises. And so the key here, it's really important to have mind-muscle connection because it's so easy to have your traps take over. So I'm really focusing on my shoulders doing the work by keeping them back and down. All right, and here we have plate front raises. So this is working on your front delt. Um, I like to keep my hands to the side when I'm holding the plate. Try not to swing too much and really squeeze the front of your delt at the top. 